Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Schneider Electric in Ikeja, Nigeria. Uh, today we'll be meeting with two of our partners, but I'll introduce you first to Moyo. Moyo, please tell us who you are and what you do at Schneider Electric. Hi guys, my name is Moyo Sore Sholipe and I work with Schneider Electric as an access to energy business developer for our transactional business. So today I'll be discussing two essential phenomenal products. First uh, is the Mobile Lantern. You can also call me the Mobile Guy. So this baby here is 170 lumens, very bright, and it's known for the robust nature. He just, he just dropped it. It's very strong and it's very durable. Sometimes it, it can also even uh, float on water. So sometimes in the riverine areas, people put this product right here on the water for fishing. So people use it also for fishing applications. And you can hang it here with this okay. handle. And you can also put it on the bottom. If I had a bottle here, it could sit. Okay. It also comes uh, with this charging cable okay. for mobile phones. Okay, so you can charge your phones. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And it also comes with this panel. Comes so with a little solar panel. How many watts are the solar, are the solar panel? I think it's about 20? 12, 12, 12 watts. 12 watts. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, very, very, very uh, good for uh, urban, para urban and rural communities. Okay. So you can see that it's... Uh, and here, if you come a little bit closer, you can see the place where you plug charge, in the charge, uh, to okay. charge okay. and then you have this other USB because you can also charge it with a the regular USB um, ports that you have okay so if you have a mobile phone that has this regular Android uh, outlet you can okay. plug it into it and okay. then it will still charge so so um, you can charge it with solar and you can charge it with a U regular USB charger off a yes. wall outlet yes okay so you have two sources so okay depending on where you are you're going camping or you're driving in your car you can put this at the back okay. of the car so if you park your car in a car park if you're in an urban community community you can always charge it car parks are parking lots by the way <laughs> my american friends <laughs> we're in nigeria <laughs> all right so we're going to move straight on to the street light okay um this that was the mobile this is called the belaya Okay, so, uh, this is called Velaya? Yes. Okay. So, this is a Velaya street lighting solution. Okay. Um, what's unique about this is three main selling points. We, uh, on our solution, we guarantee six years warranty. And okay. The battery gives you 12 years uh, lifespan. So, let me repeat that. So, it comes with a six year warranty, warranty. And then you're telling me the battery is good for 10 years. 10 years, okay. uh, but sometimes depending on the region where you are, because what you have in here is uh, nickel, nickel NIMH batteries. Okay, nickel metal hydride batteries. So most of the street lights that you have, you have in, in the Niger Nigerian region, right. most of them are actually uh, lithium. Okay. So this nickel metal hydride is heat resistant. Okay. So depending on the region where you... So in the extreme north, for example, this will perform better than a nickel... Battery. Okay. Um, nickel... A leather, sorry, you perform better than a lithium ion. Lithium -ion okay, battery. okay. Um, another key selling point you would like to know is I don't know if most, in the, if you're familiar with the streets of Lagos or generally in Nigeria, the right. batteries for street lights that you see are mostly dangling one on the left, correct, and one, one on, on the right, the right. and so, then it's, and it, then a separate solar panel on top. Exactly. Okay. So we like to say that this is theft proof. Okay. So if you want to move this baby, you're going to have to uh, crack it, crack it, yes. and lift and take the whole unit so the battery is embedded on the inside so the battery is in there so it also comes with a lightning profile uh, an application that you have on your phone okay so uh, a smartphone app yes okay where there are two lightning profiles okay so you can select the profile depending on the region that you're in right you can set the profiling of the this unit right such that uh uh, if you wanted to dim at a particular level you can set it depending on the region that you're in okay and another fantastic thing about Installing and commissioning this solution is there's a button on the right here. Yeah, there's a there's an, a, an on and off switch. Yes. So yes. once once you click on this, it. Right. Oh, look at that! It's on. It's commissioned straight. Okay. But because we have this in the showroom, you might not. It's not going to. But there's a blinking light now that yeah. you turned it on. There's something that there's something blinking. So there was I, something blinking in there a second ago. When I turn it. Yeah, look, it's blinking now. Exactly, Danny. <laughs> then it goes off. Okay. So uh, and the LEDs are also tiltable. Okay. Also tilt. So you could tilt the. Okay. Yeah. So depending on the region, also where you are. So you can tilt that. Yes. Okay. So this 
comes in four different ranges. This is the smallest range okay. that we have, and this is used mostly for parking lots, small parking okay. lots. Okay. And uh, we have the ranges that come with sensors and the okay. ranges that do not have sensors. Okay. Uh, so depending on the application as well, you can choose the solution that will best fit. So sensors are like motion sensors. If motion. someone comes near, it turns it on or it makes it brighter? It makes it brighter. And okay. then when there's no movement, it, 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 dims, dims. it dims the light to uh, give me longer battery life. Exactly. So and can... the top of it, let me see. On the top, see. there's a panel. Okay. I'm going to take my word for it that the camera is looking at a panel. Yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> so, um, and in our data sheets, we have recommended heights between 5 to 7 meters. Okay. For so, 5 to 7 meters is about 15 feet to 21 feet. Yes, there okay. are. So, that's the Belaya. Uh, that's all about the Belaya. If you want more information, you can go to our website at www.schneider.com. Thank you very much. We're back. And we're here with Babajide, our internal partner on the solar side. So this is the guy we bug when we have problems with equipment, when things refuse to do what they're supposed to do, and he always comes through for us. So Babajide, tell them who you are. Hi everyone, my name is Babajide Ogunlesi, and I'm the sales application engineer for solar business, and I cover regions across Africa. Fancy Not just Nigeria, saying... Africa. First way of saying he's a big boy. <laughs> well, it's just a fancy way of saying I'm the technical guy. Okay. So when it comes to technicalities, pre-sales, after-sales, commissioning, I'm your guy. Okay. So I'm here to tell you about uh, inverters, the okay. Connects range of inverters. Okay. We have two ranges in Schneider Electric. We have the Omaya and we have the Connects family. Okay. But I'll take you through the Connects range for Which now. is all we're interested in for now, for today, <laughs> and the, the big boys. Our customers are big boys, so we only talk about the big boys. Oh well, yeah, true. So I'll start with the smaller one. So for okay. the Connects family, we have two kinds. We have the Connects SW, right. and we have the Connects XW Plus, as you can okay. see it written here. That's a big one. So for the Connects SW, we have majorly three kinds, but two different power levels. Okay. We have a 25-24 inverter, which okay. is basically a 2.5 kilowatt inverter operating okay. on 24 volts. Right. We have the 40-24, a 4 kilowatt inverter operating on 24 volts, okay. and a 40-48 inverter, which is a 4 kilowatt inverter operating on 48 volts. Okay. Well, um, at the end of it, I'll tell you the website, a dedicated to our website, because there's a whole lot of technical jargon that you might be interested in for the viewers. Just have a field day looking at everything you want to look at there. Don't look at it, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> now for the Connex XW Plus family, we have majorly two kinds. We have the Connex, we have the XW Plus 7048, right. which is a 7 kilowatt inverter operating on 48 volts, right. and then the 8548, which is an 8.5 kilowatt inverter operating on 48 volts. Okay. The best part about this that you may find very interesting is that it is very scalable. So from one unit, as you see here, you can scale it up to as much as nine units. Okay. So you can go from something as small as residential to commercial. So a nine unit single phase. Nine unit three phase, sorry about that. So we could do three, three, three. Exactly. Okay. So it can be scalable from single phase systems to three phase systems, depending on what you really want in your electrical design. Okay. We have our company charge controllers that come with this. If you want to have a DC coupled architecture, you can have an AC coupled architecture also because... Because you also have AC, you have our AC inverters as we well. We have our PV inverters. PV inverters, sorry, PV right. Inverters, um, string inverters, greater inverters, it's basically the same thing all across. Okay. So our uh, inverters are compatible for DC coupled applications, AC coupled applications. I mean, now, go wild. what does compatibility mean? So let me explain. Um, you cannot just go and buy a, any inverter and then say you want to use a grid tie inverter to power it. Exactly. And the reason behind it is that grid tie inverter needs to know when to stop producing or else it will blow up. So these inverters are able to do what they call frequency shifts, mm -hmm. and that's what disrupts uh, the power production from the your PV, PV inverter. inverter. Okay. So a case example I'll give you there, what happens if your load is fully met in your house? You have an AC coupled system, I'll say. Right. Your loads are fully met in your house, your batteries are fully charged, are full, but right. your PV inverter is still generating so much power. I mean, if you have it in the wrong system, it is going to destroy that system, burn the house, burn wherever it's been installed in. So you have to make sure your systems are able to do something called AC coupling. This makes sure that your system is safe. If there's excess power being generated in the system, it will curtail the outputs. Right, it does, system... it does it down to match what your consumption exactly. is. Exactly, just as he said. 
So some of the other accessories you also have, we have the battery monitor, which gives you a very good overview for the amount of batteries you have left. Actually, this monitors a ridiculous amount of data, way beyond <laughs> what the average person is ever going to need. <laughs> it does. Yeah, we, we've installed it, it monitors stuff, hysteresis, who oh, really yeah. cares it's about hysteresis? <laughs> so yes, it gives you a lot of detail. Okay. We have this, we have the system control panel. Okay, so could you explain this, this because okay. this is interesting. So this is an accessory that we have that, com um, that accompanies the CS, the okay. Connects SW inverter range. Okay. It's called a DC switch gear, okay. which houses the DC breaker between the inverter and the battery. So instead of having a separate battery disconnect, the battery disconnect is right there and it's a 250 amp. That one is 250 amps, right? This particular one is 250 amp, okay. but you can basically put whatever breaker you want. Okay, so I could do a 160. Then. You I can also do... do 160. Okay. I mean. So here you can also mount your charge your controller, charge controller correct. with the DC switch gear and okay. install the breakers for your DC switch for your charge controller, controller. here also. Okay. And you can see there are two slots here, which means that you can install up to two charge controllers in the same DC switch gear. Okay. You have your system control panel, which is basically what you're going to need to commission the system. Make sure all your settings are top notch and perfect. You have your AGS, which stands for automatic generator start. If you want to go wild and completely automate a system, we've sold a few with automatic generator starts. Perfect. And then you also have the COM box, and there's even a version 2.0 of this, which is called the Connects Gateway. So this basically allows you to do everything you're going to do commissioning a system, but remotely from your home. Or using your laptop to do it. Exactly. So this current one, the COM box, is the dumb version. The new <laughs> one is the smart version. That one allows you to make changes to parameters from a remote location. Whereas this, I think you don't you can only push firmware up, you could push firmware updates. Yeah, so you could basically just monitor from this one. Okay, you could only monitor using this. Whereas on the other one you could do firmware updates, you could do parameter changes, which are setting changes on the inverter. You can the decide to shut the system down Correct. if someone is pissing you off. Well nobody pisses me off, so I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so basically Anyone and then talk the about this one okay, because yeah, there are only, one. I think, two manufacturers right now that make 600 volt. Um, actually, our back is coming up with one, but right now, the only two manufacturers that make 600 volt um, charge controllers. So, this is like the bigger boy of this one, I would say. This is, this is a charge controller that is 6150. It charges at a maximum of 60 amps, and the amount of open circuit voltage you can put from your panels is 150, 150 volts. Written okay. right there. Okay. For this bad boy over here, you have 80 amps. It can charge up to a maximum of 80 amps, but the string voltage you can put can go up to 600, 600 volts, volts, meaning you can have a higher voltage, meaning lesser cables. Correct. Oh, no. So then, you can, uh, so rephrase. I can connect as many panels in series uh -huh. as possible, as exactly. opposed to what I'll do with this one. So with this one over here, because you're limited to like 150 volts, right. you might have to connect more. Go. So, so with our 600 volt charge controller, it allows you to really connect a lot of panels in series, and by connecting it in series, you have a higher voltage and current remains the same. Meaning that, so, meaning that the advantage that this one could possibly have over this is the cable sizing. As for this one, because you're limited to 150 volts, you have to connect more, par more panels in parallel so that it can give you that output you want. And when you connect it in parallel, current goes up and then you have to increase the cabling that you're connecting to the system. When you increase the cabling, the, co the cost of the entire installation also goes up. As compared to this one, you can string much higher voltage from your PV panels, and then your current current strength is going to remain the same. The cost is going to sort of reduce as compared to using this one. So go. So explain to us this accessory here. So now we come to the accessories part of the inverters. Right. For the CSW, we have a designated DC switch gear, which is an accessory that come that you could get with it. It can house the system control panel. I'll get to that in a bit. It can house the DC breaker between the inverter and your batteries, right. and also the breakers between the charge controller and the batteries also. Okay. So I'll start with this one that we have over here, the system control panel. This is really going to be needed in your installation. This is basically where you go and input all the settings you're going to want on your system so that everything is top notch. You don't have any nuisance issues with the system. So you can sit comfortably here on the DC switch gear. You have your battery monitor, which basically tells you a whole lot of things about the states of about the state of your battery. It gives you the voltage, the state of charge, it tracks 
the nitty gritty details of it also battery. It, example of items you're able to track is when the battery was last fully charged when you last run equalization all that all that data this gives you exactly you move up here to the connect ags which stands for automatic generator start so if you want to completely automate your system if you have a generator there let's say for instance let's say your batteries are low you can configure the ags to start and say okay charge my batteries up to this point and then turn off or you can say that if there's excessive load on my inverter i do not want my inverter to be supplying that load because i run the risk of causing a lot of issues so start up the generator and transfer all the loads to the generator one thing you didn't mention also is that this has generator support yes okay so what generator support is as you know some of our inductive loads have what they call surge and your generator isn't always able to handle surge this will handle it and then pass it over to your generator yes and this that we have here is called the connects com box or just the com box for short this essentially allows you to view your entire installation from a remote location sees it makes you see how the system is functioning what's happening with the system do i have any issues with the system and we have a version 2.2 of this which is out now called the connects gateway so this allows you to monitor but with the connects gateway you can go as far as even controlling your system from afar across location you can tell the system to shut down, you can upgrade the system, you, you can, can change set, you can change settings on the system. It is going to be basically it's going to be basically you there on site, but from the, the comfort of your bedroom. I mean I've done that before. <laughs> and I was this little baby here. Then here is called the AC switch gear that accompanies the Connect SW. Okay. This can sit and house comfortably your AC breakers, your... It even comes with a bypass switch. If there's an issue, for instance, with your inverter system, and you want to transfer everything to, like, your generator or NEPA, you can simply change, change that from here. It even comes with extra, extra spaces if you want to house some other accessories, like, let's say, your surge protection, extra breakers for some smarter functions you want to do for your system, you know? And, and Schneider, Schneider does sell surge protectors as well. So yes, every, we do. everything, all your breakers and all your surge protection will all be Schneider. Yes. Now on the Connects also, you have a something similar, but you no longer offer the mini DP. You have something that's bigger and better, right? Yes, we have. So this is called the Connects Mini PDP power okay. distribution panel. Okay. Inside, just like the DC switch gear, it can house the battery breakers right. from your inverters to the battery. Okay. Also, your charge controller breakers, if you'd want. Okay. Here too, but like you said, what we offer now is the um, is the PDP, so the major PDP. Okay. It has a country box for the inverter. Okay. It also has a bigger. Uh, it also has a bigger connection where you can sit comfortably your charge controller Controllers, okay. and a whole lot of other breakers and other things you're going to need in your system. Okay. This one, as you see here, just houses one inverter, but with the bigger PDP, you can connect up to three inverters. inverters okay. Thank you, Babajide. Today has been a wonderful visit to Schneider. Thank you very much for being a, a preferred partner. We look Thank forward to doing more business with you in 2019. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.